back with some more Lotro for the official random game day of the week. And I figured, um, since it was a, another random game day, I'd just do some more of this. Um, it's so much fun. I really want to play it just all the time now because I just, I haven't played it in so long. It's so much fun. I forgot how much fun it is. So, um, that window I just close as a title. You can have it display after your name and then, yeah, but I don't really like that one as much. I'm kind of rambling right now. Please ignore my rambling. <clears throat> so, this is something that you get, I believe it's mainly VIP package, but you might be able to get it with free-to-play. Again, I don't know a lot about the free-to-play, because I never had a free-to-play account, but... Um, so we're going to open the silver gift to see what we get. We have... Okay, we have a humble pile of silver scraps. I think that's just money. Ooh, it's worth 200 silver, that's a lot. Oh, and money is copper, and then silver, and then gold is the most. And there's 100 copper in each silver, I believe, and then um, a thousand silver and a gold, maybe? I'm not positive? Something like that? I'll figure it out at some point. So we're gonna open the gold. Ooh, mithril coins. Those are, like, you can use those for um, riding horses around, or um, like if you want to teleport to a quest right away as opposed to running or whatever, you can use them for that. So it's just kind of another form of currency. Um, so we last left off, we were just in the, um, uh, the intro, we just finished the beginning starting intro, and now we're in the official intro that everybody has to go through. So, grab I this. I have come to offer my service to this party. So, we need to talk to Elodin. Quest guiding system, up here, talk to you. It is interesting that the dwarves arrived when we did, though we came for different purposes. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna take the higher armor value, because I am a hunter, I can wear meat. There's three types of armor. My father um, is great among the wise, and his dreams and foretellings do not often stray from the mark. He keeps talking. Um, there are three types of armor. There's light, medium, and heavy. No one can really wear heavy armor until I think level 20, and then certain classes can only wear medium, or certain classes can wear light, like the um, lore master class and the runekeeper class can only wear light. Minstrels can wear light unless they have a trait on, which you get, I don't remember what level it is, where you can wear medium. Hunters can wear medium, um, cap no, I think captains get heavy. Um, captains, wardens, guardians, actually wardens might only get medium. Um, and uh, champions get heavy armor though. So, and then there's also a panel which I'm actually gonna use because um, it's cosmetics, so you can put on different kinds of armor or whatever here, and you look, you can keep it looking one way while you're wearing something else. Because some of the armor in this game looks kind of strange. I mean, I like that shirt, but it doesn't really go with what I'm wearing. And me being a fashion kind of person, I like to look nice. So we're gonna these into the little cosmetic slot and then we'll wear that outfit and so that's what's going to show up no matter what um, armor I'm wearing. So, but this is all the equipment that I'm wearing. These are my basics and then offensive defensive stats. So, am I, oh never mind, I thought I had to put that on, but that's the old shirt. So, we'll talk to you. What do you know about this river? Okay. Marathon knows that the snow in the va oh, is in the valley below is black from soot and is likely the black snow in Elrond's dream. I was the one who led the party here, but there is a slight flaw in my thinking. Okay. So Dorlas believes that Skorgrim is the dower, dower king in Elrond's dream. And if you remember, Skorgrim was the one who originally attacked the Thelion for the relics. But then, that was 600 years ago, and he was killed in that. So, he, that guy, what's his name? I don't know what his name is, but that guy we just talked to is a little off. Why did Dorolos lead us here? Skogrim is dead. Oh, you don't have anything else to say. Okay. So we need to go to our trainer and learn new skills. Oh, I want to put these in my um, outfit, actually. 
because I like gloves. So uh, I'm doing everything in Minecraft shortcuts. Damn it. Alright. I need to play this more often. <laughs> And for anybody wondering, this just means that there are multiple layers, like kind of different servers. Um, since I'm in the intro, I'm in a different layer than people who are here that aren't in the intro. So that shows up. Or if like it gets too crowded in one server, then they can make it so that it's got like layers. And if you're in a fellowship, you can go to the leader's layer and stuff. So you for those wondering. To me. Okay, so I have to learn a skill from this person. I can figure out how to do it again. And go here, and it costs. It actually costs money to learn skills. Um, when you're lower level, they cost a couple copper. When you get up to really high levels, they can cost a couple hundred silver to learn. So you just want to make sure you always have money on. And then I need to move this. That's not where that goes. Um, since my main on my other account is a hunter, I have like a little um, system going for how my quick slots are arranged. So. That was just saying that um, any monster nowadays is open tapping, meaning that anybody who attacks it gets credit, gets money, gets loot, you know, as opposed to like just a fellowship or whatever, which is what it used to be. But oh, did that not count? Oh no, it did. I'm just blind. All right. So oh no, I'm not blind. It didn't count. All right, fine. I'll shoot you some more then. There we go. Alright. I'm not facing target because I'm not attacking target. Alright. Make of honor. So, personally, actually, pers yeah, personally, I like daggers for hunters because they're like hunting knives as opposed to having like a sword, you know? So, put that on first hand, put that on secondary. There we go. Oh, and I need my bow. Alright. So we're gonna go tell this guy that we you finished learning. Heart. Thank you. I do. Okay. So talk to people. Um, so we're gonna quick actually sell my old gear first because I don't need it. So why keep it? Don't need to repair yeah. anything. Um, keep that because I'm wearing that as um, cosmetic. But this stuff can all go away. So now I have 200 ish silver because of mainly because of that pile of scraps or whatever that I got from the um <clears throat> excuse me the uh present thingy so so you gotta go this way and talk to people about memories of Thelion which I've never really understood because why do we need to talk to the people we were there so why can't we just I don't know, even understand but I guess it's good to get multiple opinions whatever whatever so I'll talk to this person first. I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. All right. So Dorniel was gravely hurt when Athelion was attacked, and many others died. All right. Good to know. Could have told you that myself, but good to know. Um, jump. Talk to this person. I was here when fell. All right. So. Nathriel recalls that the Dwarf Lord Scorgrim sought immortality but died instead. I could have told you that also, but okay. Now we're gonna go up the stairs here. This is actually a guy that was, like, we talked to them. This is the guy that we followed around in the troll and stuff, if you remember. What can I do for you? I don't understand why he d has a generic thing. The other two have non-generic responses, Mind my but whatever. Words. Alright, so I need to go and find this guy because his body has been moved and there are random flower where he died. So we need to go, or he wasn't moved, but that's where he died and then he was buried. And so we need to go and find him and make sure that he's still there. And I guess they want proof, so we want, they want us to kill things. Works for me, I mean more experience. Um, there's something I want to turn off. This. I don't want that. Alright. <clears throat> So we have to go to, I believe it's called Silver Deep Mine, is where he's buried. Um, which is just up this way. And I feel slow because when you get higher level with hunters, they get a movement speed toggle skill, and I'm, t I'm too low to have it, and I feel slow. 
Um, and because I'm me, um, screw going down the stairs. We're going down the side of the mountain. And, um, for this specific game, you don't necessarily get, um, you don't get, like, health, um, lost if you fall from a high place. You get an ankle sprain. I don't know what they actually call it, like an injury or something. And that just gives you slowed movement speed for a certain amount of time. Um, the higher you fall from, the longer the duration. And you're also unable to evade, parry, or block attacks. So unless an attack misses, it's gonna hit you. And if you fall from a high enough height, you can't actually die. Um, but there's no damage, actual damage taken, unless you die. And we're back. That was kind of a long loading screen, so I just skipped past it. Um, but, so we're gonna shoot this cave claw for the quest. Slight frame drop, but we killed it, so it's fine. <laughs> so, this is actually, this is really pretty. Um, this game has some really pretty, like, scenery places. Like, um, if I play this, um, on the channel far enough to get to level, like, I think it's 60 or something, um, there's Loch Orion, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, there are lots of real- there's just- this game has really pretty graphics and everything. Um, so. So that's all four that we need to kill. I could kill the rest of these and get more experience, um, but I feel like it's not necessary. I mean, I could and then I get more experience and that'd be good and all, and I don't want to say it's a waste of time because it's not, but I feel like you don't have to kill every single thing that's here. So, Scorgrim's body is dead, but it's gone. I can't read. But the same strange flower as found in Nathalian grows at the site of his long grave. Mm. Alright. Quest item. Flower has a poisonous, deathly look to it. Alright. So now we need to go back and bring this flower to the son of... Um... Total mind blank right there. Damn it. Damn it. Why am I having such a mind blank? What is. Oh man. The... I should not be having this much of a mind blank. Okay. Can't remember his name now. Oh man, this is gonna piss me off for a while. Um, we're gonna have to bring this back to Eladen. Son of um. Damn it. Whatever. <laughs> I will figure it out eventually. <laughs> Elrond. I figured it out. Oh man, that was- I don't even know why that happened, it's just major mind blank. I hate when those last like forever, or like you're having a conversation with somebody and neither of you can remember the name, and then like 10 o'clock at night you're like, I remember, and then you can't tell them. So, good thing it wasn't like that. I would've been so mad if I remembered like after I finished the video. <sighs> Whatever. Um, so, get to talk to the son of- of, um... Is a vile God damn it. <laughs> Elrond. God damn it. <laughs> I'm... derping hard right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... What else did I get? Oh, these. I need to add these to my little hotbar. So let's go there. These are health and power potions. They don't call it mana because it's not... But I have to, oh yeah, I have to go back to the Silver Deep Mine. I don't know why they make us do that. Like, you just got back. Why do you have to go to the Silver Deep again? Anyway, um, but they don't call it mana, which I actually kind of like, because, um, it's not necessarily mana. Like, every skill costs power, and where's my way down? Um, and, like, this, this isn't, this shot isn't, a magic skill. 
so it wouldn't really work if it was called mana. They also don't call it health, they call it morale, which I also like. I will still call it health or like HP or whatever, um, but it's called morale because when you die, you're not technically dead. You're more, it says that you're incapacitated. So I really like that part of the game because then there's not really any actual deaths and it's not like, hey, I came back from the dead. It's, hey, I'm not in, no longer incapacitated, you know? So I really like that about this game. Um, I like a lot of things about this game. It's just really fun to play. Um, so I have to look at this little flower um, and use it. Not examine. Not look at. Use it. The trail of blood red footsteps begins at this spot. Alright. You have found another flower along the trail. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> what else would I have found? I guess barks, bar barkists, whatever, whatever, however they're pronounced. I found another flower. That's all it says, so I'm just not going to read it, but it's there if you want to read it over and over and over again. Have fun. <laughs> it's a lot more fun when you're playing the game. <laughs> so, again, I highly recommend you check this game out, play through the free to play, and then decide if you want to pay for it. It's so much fun. Um, I played a couple of other MMORPGs. Not like thoroughly, nearly as thoroughly as this one. Um, the Trail of Flowers has led you to a dark dwarf keep. But this this is by far my favorite, so. Look what the dour hands have done to this place. Down yonder right. is York, the steward appointed by Thorin before he left. Alright. My cape. No, the fancy little cape. It's beautiful. The thing about the capes in this game is even when you're inside, they're like blowing in the wind that doesn't exist. <laughs> so I don't like the capes because of that, but some of the capes look really cool. Um, most of the armored ones don't. Well, they have like cosmetic items that are just there to look good. So, and those look cool. Have you but. come to pay your respects at Skullgreen's tomb? I suppose they're no made to look good. But, I mean, they're doing their job away. right. Well, right, whatever. You should pay your respects to Skullgreen. Alright, so we have to kill some bats and collect black stones. This should be fun. In the rock belly pit. Alright, we're back. Again, it wasn't as long, but I figure might as well make it nice and simple and just cut it out. So, I know there's one there. I'll get it later. Um, but we're gonna go up here first and grab this one. Somebody just fell on their face. <laughs> um, here's another one. And then we go up here. And there's another one. Oh, and there's a bat. So we are going to shoot you in the face. Goodbye. That's one. Usually I've hit more than that by now. I think somebody else was here. I know, I didn't grab it. I will get some, don't worry about it. I will not be picking that one up either. Jeez, there's so many people here. Stop taking my bats. <laughs> They're mine. Ooh, hey, there's a bat. Um. Oh. I can't do it. Okay, got this. Bam. Just hurt myself. It's okay. That will happen a lot. Just for advice. Forewarning. That's the word I'm looking for. Not advice, but... Because I don't like to take stairs. Because stairs are always very slow. The quickest way from one place to another is a straight line. Even if the straight line is straight down. It's still a straight line. <laughs> So. <clears throat> oh, well, you're dead. Um. <laughs> so, we're gonna visit this statue. The statue, I can't speak, I'm stuttering. A menacing looking statue has been raised in the likeness of the Dower Hands King of Old. I have all my stones, I killed all the bats. 